Hello, this is Miss Ashley at San Marcos Public Library. Our puppet show today is a new show, but a very old story. It's a very famous story about a little girl in a very famous red cape. You may have heard of it. You may think you know what happens. But let's watch and find out who saves the day in this version of Little Red Riding Hood. I hope you enjoy the show. Once upon a time there was a little girl whose grandmother had made her a beautiful red cape, and all who saw her in the cape called her Little Red Riding Hood. She lived with her family on one side of the forest, and her grandmother lived in a cottage on the other side of the forest. One morning her mother brought Little Red Riding Hood a basket. Little Red Riding Hood? Your grandmother is sick in bed. I want you to take this basket of goodies to her cottage to help her feel better. Of course, Mommy. But be very careful going through the forest. Stay on the path and don't talk to strangers. Yes, Mommy. So Little Red Riding Hood set off through the forest. At first she stayed on the path as she had been told. But then she saw some lovely wildflowers just off the path. Oh, look at those pretty flowers. I'll just pick a few for Granny. They will make her feel better. So she wandered off the path to pick a few. Then, a little farther off, she saw more flowers. Those look even prettier. I must pick some. Soon she had wandered out of sight of the path. Just when Little Red Riding Hood looked around and realized she might be lost, out of the forest appeared a big, bad wolf. Hello, little girl. What do you have in that basket? Goodies for my granny, cookies and fresh fruit, and a cake. Ah, hors d'oeuvres, delicious. Makes my mouth water just thinking about them. You say they're for your granny? Yes, she lives in a cottage on the other side of the forest. But I've lost the path and don't know the way back. Let's see, basket of goodies, little girl, sweet old granny. I'm looking at a three-course meal here. Never fear, little girl. I know where the path is and I will gladly show you right this way. Oh, thank you. Here you go, little morsel. I, I mean, little girl. This path will take you straight to your granny's house. Make sure you stay on the path, but take your time. It's a beautiful day. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. I hope we meet again. I'm sure we will. Now, I think the granny will be the first course. Off the wolf went running straight through the forest to Grandma's house. Grandma herself was in bed reading a good book, when suddenly she heard a knock at her door. I wonder if that's Little Red Riding Hood. Her mother said she'd be bringing some goodies by. I'm glad she didn't get lost on the way. Come in, my dear. Hello, Granny. Oh, my! You're not my granddaughter. No, but you can be my dinner. Eek! The wolf chased Grandma through the house, but she was faster and more nimble than he expected. She ran into the kitchen and locked the door. Then she made a cup of tea while she wondered what to do about the wolf in her living room. No problem. I can be patient. That little girl will show up soon with her basket of goodies. There are even books here to read while I wait. The wolf also found one of Granny's spare aprons and a cap, which gave him a wicked idea. He put them on. There now, I look just like Granny. This disguise would fool my own mother. Suddenly there was a knock at the door. 
Who is it? I, I mean, who is it? Come in, please. Hello, Granny. It's me. I've brought you a basket of goodies. Come closer, child. My old eyes can barely see you. Oh, my, Granny. What big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. And, Granny, what big ears you have, too. They're kind of hairy. The better to hear you with, my dear. But, Granny, what big teeth you have. I don't remember them being quite so shiny and sharp. The better to eat you with. Eek! Then the wolf chased Little Red Riding Hood through the house, but her grandmother heard all that had happened and opened the kitchen door just long enough for her granddaughter to run inside. Eek! Then she slammed it in the wolf's face. Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Well, fine. I can wait out here. They'll have to come out sooner or later. Oh, look. She dropped some goodies. <laughs> Hors d'oeuvres after all. <laughs> the wolf ate so many goodies that he felt quite full and soon fell fast asleep in front of the fire. <laughs> When Granny heard the snores, she opened the kitchen door and crept out. What a big nose he has! The better to snore with. It's a good thing I keep my knitting needles in the kitchen. Let's put this net I've knitted to good use. Granny threw the net over the wolf, tied him up tight, and dragged him out the door. Good riddance. It's going to take a good cleaning to get the smell of wolf out of my cottage. Granny, is the wolf gone? Don't worry, my dear. I've got a woodman friend who will come along and take care of him. Now, how about we make a batch of fresh cookies, since the wolf ate all of your mother's? Yes, please. You know, I'm feeling much better. I guess I just needed a bit of excitement and a visit from my granddaughter. So they made cookies and tea, read stories, and lived happily ever after. Ever after.